Hi Virgo, what's going on? Welcome to your reading. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hop into this. A side note, um, I had a request, I can't remember what sign it was on, but um, I had a request to use the Animal Spirit deck again in the YouTube readings. And I just like to try different styles out, you know, with the readings. I think it's good to try new things and, you know, see if different things work. But um, so I'm going to incorporate the Animal Spirit deck again. In the YouTube readings, I actually use these in the extendeds um, as a part of the advice. But anyway, aside from all that, I didn't feel like taking out my hair right now. So Virgo, I have the hoodie on. I hope that's okay. <laughs> so yeah, let's... um. Let's just hop into this. We're gonna see what's happening with you and the person on your mind or whoever comes through the strongest in the reading. Please be sure to give the reading a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell, and feel free to leave a comment, Virgo, if the reading helps, if it resonates, okay? All right, Virgo. So let's see how you and the person on your mind are moving forward together, Virgo. And the person on their mind. How are these two moving forward together right now? Universe or spirit. How are these two moving forward together right now? All right. You have time. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. Okay, Virgo. So, hmm. That may be you, maybe Virgo, you're feeling like it's too late for your person to take action with you. I'm kind of getting the vibe that that's you. You may, or you may be feeling like it's a bit too late for you to take action right now at this point in time, okay? Like something's too late. All right. Either you feel like you've waited too long to do something or your person has waited too long to do something that you've waited on. Let me see how your love interest, Virgo, person on your mind, how is this person showing up for Virgo right now? Okay, so your person shows up as the dolphin and the earthworm. I actually do miss using these in the readings. <laughs> um... So the dolphin usually shows up when someone feels very uh, guided towards you, Virgo. Um, and it's interesting with the earthworm. So this could absolutely be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, <clears throat> your person is feeling pushed right now, okay, Virgo, to take a uh, like leap of faith with you. The, the earthworm is like my fool card, all right? So it's kind of like that dog on the fool card is like pushing your person like, just do it, just take, just take a leap of faith. Maybe they need to say something to you, Virgo. They need to try something new when it comes to the connection with you, okay? But they're shy, they're hesitant to open up. Okay. Can you show me how Virgo is coming up in the connection with who this is? Okay. Ooh, the panther. Oh, you mad, mad Virgo. Yeah. Wow. You're coming up as all fire. Scorpion, fire ant. Okay. So the panther... Panther is interesting. So this is like my Hayoka card. If you are not familiar with a Hayoka, um, it's a sacred clown in Native American um, culture. Am I saying that correctly? It's someone who, goes about um, change, um, doing something to shake things up, all right? But it's unconventional, all right? It may not be the best way. So 
maybe you have told this person something like maybe you've expressed to this person and maybe in a very angry way you could be doing this right now virgo you may be expressing to this person like hey you need to do this or you need to do that you're you're telling this person that okay um you you may have already done this okay virgo um and that could be why your person is very sh shy or hesitant to express themselves to you because maybe you know they know you're upset um you may have told this person, Virgo, like you're wasting time or you've wasted too much time. You're wasting my time. Okay. You're like, I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting for you to do something here. I feel like, like I said, I feel like that's you. Like looking at your watch, like any day now. Okay. You could be saying to this person, time is of the essence right now, okay? Let's clarify this. Some of you, um, Virgo, you're, uh, this, you'll know if this really, really resonates with you if um your your sun sign this person's north node may be in your sign okay so you're because i associate the dolphin with the north node energy okay moving moving towards destiny all right um i will tell you this virgo when the dolphin shows up it's a no men so <clears throat> as at this point like you and this person are um, destined to meet again. Okay, if that makes sense. So yes, your Virgo, either sun, moon, no, 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 your Virgo sun or Mercury, right? Those placements on your end could be your person's north node energy. Um, because, uh, I actually found this out recently. If you're communicating with someone who has your North node placement, they could tell you things that maybe you don't want to hear, but they're telling you things that it's like, Hey, you need to do this in order to meet your destiny in order to reach your destination point. Okay. And that could be something that's going on here. clarify um passion wanted to come out for how you two are moving forward together you and this person like it says like each other equally you do that's what i'm picking up you and this person both um um it even like with passion you could be showing you know this level of um anger virgo because it's coming from a place of passion all right you may not be expressing it in a loving way, but you're still doing it because you are passionate about this connection, okay? Passionate about what you want to happen here, all right? Clarify um, how this person's showing up for Virgo right now. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, unsure of the future. That's what. That's why they're hesitant. Um, they may not be sure of how you're going to receive what they have to say, Virgo. As an, you know, just for an example, um, if you all are separated, I do get that they, they miss you. You know, just as much as you miss them, Virgo. Um, and you are heavily on their mind right now. Clarify Virgo. 
the chaser. So it says fear of abandonment issue, Virgo, and so that's coming up here. You could be upset because maybe you feel like this person has abandoned you or abandoned the agenda. Okay, I'm just getting that right because you have remember, um, I'm afraid it's too late to take action, right? Time is running out. And because you have this fear, um, your you could be pulling away from this person, Virgo, out of fear. Like maybe you've expressed yourself, you have you know let them know how you feel, or you're you know you could be letting them know how you feel, but at the same time. It's like you're trying to remove yourself from the situation at, at the same time. I do think this person, it's interesting because at the bottom, um, you have codependent again with addiction. So <clears throat> part, of you, part of you, like you feel like there's blockages here from who this is, okay? You could be saying to this person, Virgo, no, you need to come to me. I'm not coming to you anymore. You need to come to me. Clarify on how Virgo's person, how are they showing up for Virgo? Okay, your person, the seven of wands, defensive, um, kind of feeling backed in a corner a little bit, and that makes sense with the panther energy, all right, something you've said to them, they're like, wait a minute, like, hold on, I need a moment to, so yeah, there's definitely some sort of um, disagreement here, because this is uh, Mars energy, Mars and Leo, this could be a Leo, um, so there seems to have been like some sort of disagreement, Virgo, and your person could be kind of taking, you know, some space here, pulling back, um, defensive. Okay. So they could be defensive right now. All right. Clarify Virgo. Page of wands. Hold on. You're also, I am getting Virgo, you're also inspired to, or right now, I don't know if you're inspired, but right now I'm getting like, you think it may be better. Like when I get with the chaser, like you're looking at something new, you're looking at a new direction, okay? Something else has kind of, you know, caught your attention here. Hold on. Like maybe you got some sort of, you know, message. A page of, page of wands is about, you know, good news, receiving good news. So maybe you've gotten like some sort of positive message right now that is like, for example, something else I'm getting. Maybe a friend asked you to go out. Okay. I'm picking that up very literally. Like a friend has asked you to go out like, hey, you know, Virgo, I know that you're you know, X, Y, Z is going on with you right now. Um, maybe we should go out, you know, kind of cool off a little bit here. And I see you going back and forth about that. I do. I see you going back and forth about that. There could be even a new love interest, okay, that um, has your attention. And you may, be, you may be kind of maybe exchanging messages with this person. All right. But you're doing that. 
possibly from a place of fear. I hate to say that, but you could be doing that from a place of fear, you know, where, and not, not, I'm not saying you are, but if this resonates, you know, if you're, if this, honestly, if that part resonates, you could be like, yeah, I, I mean, cause some people, it's like, I don't want to be alone. You know, I, I want someone to talk to. I want to interact with someone. So, you know, while I'm upset with who this is, I wouldn't mind something positive taking, taking that off my mind, you know? Could be interacting with the Sag over here. Some of you may have Sag in your chart. All right. I have to have these two are moving forward together. Okay, the two of wands. Your person, so this is your person with you, and this is you um, at a crossroads where you're also looking onto the future, Virgo, where you're saying to yourself, okay, um, what do I do now? Um, what's my new path? And you, you could be taking a look at things right now. Some of you are looking to move, Virgo. You may be, um, you know, deciding uh, maybe also travel plans, right? There could be some plans here that maybe you're like, I need a break. I need to go travel. I need to go somewhere. All right. So I feel like that is something that you're doing right now. And then your person, I feel, is at a crossroads with you. They're trying to figure out. What's the right thing to do? What's the right action to take here, Virgo? They're taking a step back and being like, okay, I could go this route with Virgo or I could go that route with Virgo. Which which direction? And that's why they're hesitant. That's why I get the fool with your person. They're hesitant. They they know like they're, they're scared to say something to you right now, um, probably because there is so much tension. All right. So that's what I'm seeing so far, Virgo. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. If that hit, if that resonates, makes sense. And please hit the notifications bell if you do subscribe, all right? We're about to hit 1.30, yay. That's what's up. Um, but yeah, hit the notifications bell so that the readings pop up and show up for you. If you want to. If you want to, Virgo. Here we go. Let's see what's happening next. This is going to be on your extended reading part two, Virgo. All right. So what happens next is you've got indecisive new chapter and unfinished business. Okay. We still have things to resolve and discuss. Okay. So there may be, you know, this is kind of like hangman energy. So I feel like things are still in limbo between you two, Virgo, but it does seem like, you know, a decision needs to be made so that you all can, you and this person can either move on or move forward with each other. Um, let me pull a tarot card here and then I'm going to stop this and head over to Vimeo. The link for the extended is in the description, top of the comments. Okay. Clarify. Ooh, lots of lots of cards came out. Okay. Judgment, Seven of Pentacles, King of Wands, Taurus, Leo, Energy. You do have judgment though. So judgment is um it is about a return. Um there could be this is also about realizations. Someone having a realization. Your person having some major Revelation about you, Capricorn Scorpio energy, things coming to light. All right, so I'm going to stop this here. If you're following me over to Vimeo, we're going to talk more about what I see happening next, what your person wants overall, Virgo, um, what outcome am I getting, and what's your advice here in this situation? What should you be doing? All right, so if you're interested in finding that out, I'll see some of you over on your extended, if this is where we part ways, Virgo, love you guys and enjoy your weekend or whenever you see this reading and I'll see you all soon. Peace.